Hey vlog, what is up? My name is Kelly. I'm a second year fourth grade teacher and I'm here to bring you along on a weekend in my life. I'm gonna have Saturday and Sunday included in this. It's pretty low key. I have a PD, virtual training, do some grading, some prep, some planning. So come along with me and let's get into it. It is Saturday morning, it's about nine o'clock, and I am feeling refreshed because I got 14 hours of sleep last night. Let me tell you about it. So I just wanted to chill Friday night, watch some Netflix, and I did just that. I had an early dinner, then watched an episode of The Circle on Netflix, so if you haven't watched that, you should watch it, it's very entertaining. But I watched an episode from five to six, and then at six I was like, I'm exhausted, I'm gonna take a nap and then like get up and then enjoy my evening. So I set my alarm for 7 p.m. At six o'clock, fell asleep. Didn't wake up until eight. When I woke up at eight, I thought to myself, I could still be sleeping. So I moved from my couch to my bed and I woke up at 8 a.m. So I'm feeling refreshed, energized. That was just the sleep that I needed to catch up. And now it's Saturday and what do I get to do? professional development from nine to four. Aren't I so lucky? <laughs> so today I'm gonna take you along on my Saturday. Right now I'm currently making some biscuits and gravy. I'll take you over there. And I've never used this brand of gravy before. It was like in a can, so I'm kind of nervous how it's gonna turn out. Not bad. I can eat it. It's not, it's not my favorite but I can eat it. <laughs> Y'all listen to this audio. This is horrible. Everybody in the chat is saying we can't hear a word she's saying, can't follow along. What? This is awkward, I feel bad for them. Looks like they're gonna try again, the screen is black. Hopefully that means they're trying again and not that it got worse. Way so that you're getting that letter back in there. Okay, now we're gonna do uh, uh. Do that one correctly for me. Okay, the next one is uh. put a W. Oh. It's just things to remember. Like, pick up the pace, please. Okay, look at my mouth again. Pick up my mouth. 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 Pick up I think there's a lot of value to it. I've been in classrooms before where they've used it, but since I teach fourth grade, I've never used it before. As I'm hearing more in this professional development and exploring it more, I realize the value that it can still have for my students, especially in helping with spelling. I found the perfect example. k o t c o t k o t Caught. K -ot caught. K -ot caught. Okay, I need to pick me up, so I'm getting lunch as we have a little bit of a break. Salad haul. I have leftover salad for lunch today. I got Outback carry out for dinner last night, and I didn't eat the salad last night because I knew I could have it for lunch today. So I'm gonna fix it up. Y'all look how cute my bowls are. Aren't they adorable? They're just like giant mugs. Just a classic house salad and their ranch is to die for, my goodness. Then I'm doing my favorite seasoning salt. I hope this vlog isn't too boring. It probably is. With them, but it is very important. Do not skip that part. Um, we're now on a lunch break um, for like the next half an hour or so. So I'm gonna go 
get some coffee. I'm very excited. <laughs> Come along with me. Let's see if you stay there. I've never had luck getting a camera to stay in my car. So, we'll see. You might fall and then I'll just pick you up when I order. It's a super cute coffee shop. It's my favorite. Hi, what can I get started for you? Hi, can I please have a 12 ounce vanilla cold brew with almond milk? 12 ounce vanilla cold brew with almond milk? Yep, that's it. Okay, sounds good. I'll see you at the window. Thank you. No, thank you. You have a good day? You too. Hi. Yes. Hey vlog, it's been about uh, eight hours since I last talked to you, so I apologize for that. But I survived my professional development. It's pretty boring, but they got their audio together, so that was good. And it's still a good topic, even though boring. I also went to church, I watched some YouTube, had some dinner. Now I'm just hanging out. So I apologize for kind of fast forwarding through the rest of my day. Oops. Look at my eyes. Wow. From cliff so high. Trust in our wings to fly. Currently, I am looking Sometimes up on YouTube an audiobook for the next novel study that we're going to do, which is The ground. Lemonade War. I've read this book before, but I want to read it again, just as a refresher as we're about to launch into this unit. But I want to be productive instead of just sitting and reading a book I've already read. So right now, I'm looking up audiobook version. So I'll be able to listen to this as I'm doing some prep for it. Speaking of which, I made the ultimate teacher mistake in regards to copying and printing. I sent multiple pages of this big long packet to the copier and I, click, I clicked multiple pages, but I was like, oh, make 21 copies of each. And it like, made them all dispersed with each other. So now I have to sort through the piles and make them piles of each individual page. Love that for me. their math tests from Friday so far it's been pretty good I'm very proud of them one of the challenges in grading for me is deciding what qualifies as partial credit because I emphasize to students show your work in math because if you make the tiniest error you'll get some points back for it because you sh you know how to do it Now that I'm done with those math tests, my goal right now is to create the thumbnail for this current video that I'm filming. I've got two pictures that I'm working with. I've got this one, and then I've got this one. So I'm gonna mess around with them and see which one I like better for the thumbnail. We'll see. In other news, I got a package from Amazon. We are starting a new book study, a novel study in my class this week, and so I wanted to get some themed items for it. The book we're reading is Lemonade War. I got some lemony surprises. Okay, teacher uh, flaw. Sometimes I buy things and I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do with them. For example, these were little like lemon 
some slices that were just too cute and I couldn't pass them up. So I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do with these. Maybe I can like create a game where they can use them. But here's a whole bag of them. What's even cuter are drum roll please. These lemon lights. I'll have to set those up tomorrow and then I'll show you what they look like. Y'all have to hear this. So I live close to my cousins and there's a field out behind their house. So they take their dirt bike and their four wheeler and go ride in it. But my windows are open right now and it's so loud. Just listen. My lovely neighbor, cousins, family, neighborhood people <laughs> have stopped riding their dirt bike and four wheelers so it's a bit quieter now. Um, but I've still got prep to do. I feel like I've been working on school stuff this whole weekend. It's like this sometimes. It's fine. So I have to laminate just a few things for this coming week um, in the unit that we're doing on the Lemonade Wars. So I'm plugging in my laminator right now. And I'll show myself laminating. just picked up all these vocab cards put them all in a pile and then what do you know they all fell <sighs> just the little things the little things all right squad I am making a grilled cheese for dinner and I think it's gonna be the end of this vlog I hope you enjoyed just mundane tasks in my weekend mostly school related. I think it was a productive weekend, but also restful. I didn't really feel rushed to do anything, so that was good. Last week I came up with three goals for my week. This week I think I'm just gonna have one goal, and that's not to be anxious about anything school related. Whether that's grading, or my students understanding, or prep, or interactions with coworkers or parents. I just don't want to give it that control to make me anxious. That's a lot easier said than done, I know. I'm the first to admit that, but at least I can try. That's the whole point of a goal, is to have something to work towards to make yourself better. So my one goal this week is to not give schoolwork the power to make me anxious. I'd love it if you would comment your goal or goals for the week down below. I want to build a community here where we can talk about these goals, reflect on who we are as educators. Because the more we reflect on who we are as educators, the more our students will reflect on who they are. and the the work practices that they have and how kind they are to others. The way we grow in life is to reflect and to process. So that's the type of community I want to form here with this channel. Sorry, I'm like looking down because I'm buttering this bread for my grilled cheese. Until next time, teachers, take care of yourself and do what's best for students. Thanks for coming along with me today. Bye. Okay, I know I just said bye, but I've got to show you how perfect this looks. Are you ready?
Yum. Look how perfect. Do y'all appreciate grilled cheese as much as I do? That looks so good.